SXMO, or Simple X Mobile, is a collection of simple and suckless programs and scripts that are used together to create a fully functional mobile environment adhering to the Unix philosophy. It is designed for Linux phones such as the Pine phone. One of its characteristics is that it can be controlled largely through hardware buttons, but it also has a sophisticated gesture system. Click the volume up button once to open a context menu. In the context menu you can use the volume down and volume up buttons to navigate. Use the power button to confirm your choice. Pressing the power button twice will open a new terminal. Pressing the volume down button will uh, change your layout configuration in DWM. Pressing the, the power button once will open or hide the keyboard. The keyboard itself has multiple layers which you can cycle through. Pressing and holding a key will open up a little overlay that allows you to input diacritics, allowing you to input a wider variety of languages. Holding the, power, the volume down button for a longer time will close a window. The menu that is shown is a context menu and will differ depending on the application you have open. If you want the system menu, then you can always press the up button twice. In the status bar on top you will see default things like the time, but also uh, a W to indicate that your wireless is working, an M to indicate that your modem is on, and uh, when you're connected to your power grid you see a C for charging and a percentage, or you see a D and a percentage for discharging. You also see the volume of your sound and what output device it is using, like S for speakers and H for headphones. You can suspend your phone by a long press on the up button or by a triple press on the up button. This goes in two or three stages. The first will lock only the input, the second will disable the screen and the third will actually suspend the phone in a deep slip. Pressing the power button three times in quick succession will subsequently wake the phone up again. Of course you don't have to do everything using the hardware buttons. You can use the gesture system that SXML offers as well. Swiping from and to the edges of the screen will switch workspaces. Swiping down with two fingers to the bottom edge will close a window. Swiping with one finger up and down the, to the top edge will show and hide the, the context menu. Doing the same on the bottom edge will open and hide the keyboard. Swiping vertically along the right edge will emulate scrolling. It simply sends key press buttons, which is very convenient for use with terminal applications. The distance of your swipe matters here. A short swipe is equivalent to one up or down arrow key, a longer swipe is equivalent to three keys, and a very long swipe is equivalent to a page down or page up action. Swiping from left to right along the bottom edge will emulate the press of an enter key. There are various other swipes available as well, please check the documentation for this. The application you see here is TUIR, a Reddit client for the terminal. We mostly use SXIV, Simple X Image Viewer, and we use MPV as our media player for playing videos. But of course you can use any applications you like and SXMO is very configurable. Brightness can be controlled by swiping along the top edge Volume can be controlled by swiping along the left edge of the screen. You can of course also use SXMO to call, to receive calls and to send text messages and to receive text messages. You can send text using your favorite text editor such as VI or Emacs. You can send and receive calls and text as long as your modem is enabled. You can toggle the modem in the configuration menu and you can see an M in the status bar if it's enabled.
we use the application megapixels for the camera. This is functional, but at the moment it is very laggy and still needs some work. SXMO comes with various scripts, such as a file manager using um, dmenu and uh, YouTube scripts, as well as weather forecasts and other functionality. Here we see an example of the built-in file manager and a photo that was taken with the camera in the Pine phone. I want to showcase some terminal-based applications that work nicely here with SXMO. Here you see WeChat, an IRC client, which I'm using over an SSH connection to my server, where it's running in Tmux. Of course, you can always run uh, WeChat natively on your Pine phone. And this is Neomut, my mail client. And here is Calculus, a terminal-based calendar application. Last but not least, uh, let me show you that we use XDM as our login manager. This is what you get when you start your phone, where you can log in, and what you see after you log out. 